welcome back first of all thank you thank you very much for supporting the channel today my channel crossed 520 subscriber and now i got a notification uh, by youtube saying that i have unlocked the, the the feature of posting gifs images and other stuff in youtube community so i hope that will uh, that will be another channel to share some of my drawings and uh, and good posters which will be having good cissp information or some memory tricks or some some shortcuts which you can take in memorizing key concepts or uh, in cissp so what we are discussing today is uh, software licensing so software licensing is a small part actually this topic is discussed in conjunction with the uh, intellectual property which we discussed in last video um see so yeah so this video will be a short one we will be discussing what type of software license agreement we have and what are the key features in those license agreement so let's go to the to the drawing board and uh, explore some of the some of the concepts around that okay so when it comes to licensing uh, we are actually uh, when we use this word licensing we are um, we are discussing software license agreement right so it could be uh, four types of uh, of licensing um, which we which we actually encounter in our day-to-day uh, -day it experience uh, one of the license is contractual license agreement so contractual license agreement is a is a license agreement wherein the the uh, the software which we are dealing with is of very high price or it require a continuous uh, on-demand support and uh, updates as such um, you know basically the the company who is providing the software is not only the one of you know software seller but uh, there is a kind of a business relationship between the, the the company who is providing the software and the company who is using the software so it's a big a huge software with uh, big money so there we go for con contractual license agreement we share some papers with physical um, signatures and everything and uh, we seal the deal so that's contractual license agreement this type of license i have seen uh, in my experience like when i was doing um, ddos uh, cloud scrubbing solution with some of the vendors so those solutions um, actually um, were uh, were finalized with a contractual license like based on how much bandwidth they are gonna uh, they are gonna consider for ddos traffic how much they will clean uh, so those kind of thing are written there so that's contractual license agreement it's not uh, something commercially out of shelf uh, type of thing now shrink wrap license agreement is like you must have uh, seen some of the antivirus software or some um so microsoft office product wherein you buy it in a in a in a packet and you, this packet is having a seal well, and it says that if you break the seal you actually uh, accept the license agreement right so it's uh, it's for the low price cost low cost software or the software with uh, with with a download uh, download the link and when you go on the on downloading the link then you eventually go to click through license or cloud service license agreement so that's shrink wrap license agreement it's for uh, basically i've seen it for antivirus softwares um, and a small a small piece of software like which is available in um, in retail stores now what is click through license agreement click through license agreement ensures active consent right so when it comes to active consent there are only three categories it's contractual license agreement it's 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 super active consent basically then you have click through license agreement where you actually intentionally click on the checkbox saying that i have accepted license agreement right so contract terms are written either on the box or in the software documentation and when you are installing the software you are just checking that okay you accept this license agreement now most popular uh, type of license agreement is cloud service license agreement wherein the whole license agreement is presented on a screen by the software vendor so it basically flashes while subscribing the service or while installing the software and we agree to it and uh, we basically accept the license agreement right uh, this is most uh, the, the most easiest way of 
uh, entering to a license agreement and the most vulnerable one like uh, it happens that uh, in a company some employee can agree to a license agreement without reading the whole you know end user license agreement terms and condition no one reads it like general people never read those license agreement but when it comes to a, a corporate organization if some employee accepts the license agreement and uh, uh, and make the organization liable to some of the clauses for which organization is not ready so that can create a problem so there has to be a, a strict uh, process and mechanism in a company to uh, to basically um, uh, address this type of mishappening right so that's a cloud service license agreement i hope this video is uh, informative uh, useful and uh, will definitely help in some of the cssp questions around uh, type of licensing you can think deeper into it and uh, uh, think of scenarios in which scenario which type of license you will go for and uh, what are the pros and cons of these licenses uh, thanks for uh, staying with me and i hope you enjoyed this video if you like the video put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i am on the verge of uh, finishing domain one there are some key topics like business continuity planning um and some physical security stuff which i will be covering and uh, then i will start domain two thanks again thanks for watching the video